Hello, this is Torior and welcome back to Let's Play Europa Universalis for S Byzantium. We have just declared war on the Ottomans and we have called in... Um, sorry, something's happening with my computer. Oh, it's, it's okay now. Uh, we have called in um, their allies of Tunis and Gazikumuk. Um, they should get into the war as soon as I unpause. Yes, they did. Right. Oh, Tunis has vassals. I didn't take that into account. Oh, they are not uh, not important, really. Let's see, I wonder how much war score would be to vassalize you? Mm, too much. It's a pity. I would really like to vassalize Tunis. What else? Um, and just out of curiosity, what if I wanted to vassalize the Ottomans? We can't check because we just declared war. Um, would you come in? Why, why can't I call you to arms? Saxony, Commonwealth and more... Oh crap! France is at war against Poland. That's why they wouldn't come in. Hmm. Interesting. Well, it's, it, it, it isn't important, really. We will take care of it on our own. We have a bigger army, we have a bigger navy. Um, at least I think so, let's check. Yeah, we have a much bigger navy. Um, where are our, our ships? We should use them for blockades. I can't find them. Um, let's check. Yeah, here you are. Uh, what should we do first? Should we blockade the Ottoman provinces or just cripple Tunis? Well, let's start with the Ottomans. Okay, can we get into the Mamluk territory? Yes, and they have reduced morale after their battle. So we might not be able to wipe the army, but we will certainly cause it uh, a lot of damage. I wonder, will Great Britain come in, and come into our war now? Probably not, but yeah, it's still a very distant war for them. Um, okay. Ottomans entered the military alliance with Timurids. Oh, they have peaced out with the Mamluks. Interesting. Right. Mm, you guys meet up with the main army. Do you have a big fort lever anyone? Anywhere? Oh, the, the fort here is actually damaged. So let's stop it from recovering quickly. 2000, 2000, 2000 everywhere. Right, so what we'll do is we will take the army and prepare small sieging armies. We are in no hurry when it comes to the sieges, so we will just carpet siege everything. Uh, how many do we need? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then number 11 here. So 10 small armies, 2 mm, units each. Mm. You know what? No, let's do it differently. First, we will send one infantry unit everywhere, just so that they can't build any, build any more troops. Then we will eliminate the army with our main force. And after that, we will reinforce all the sieges. Three, four, five, six, Seven and eight. Why eight? Uh, because we're only going to siege those provinces at the moment. And after that we will take care of one and maybe the other army as well. And then move this way. So, let's just distribute the armies. They are also uh, supposed to serve as bait for this Ottoman stack over here. We want them to come back into their territory as uh, quickly as possible. So we can wipe it. And you guys take care of the big stack. Oh, sorry, it's not the big stack, it's the small stack. And the big stack we will eliminate soon. Yeah, we have baited them and they will return soon. And after they do, we'll wipe them. We will probably lose one small army in the process, but... It's not really a problem. Okay. All right, they are moving to Konya. So you guys move there as well. We should catch them. Oh, they were faster than I expected. 
This might have been a mistake. Lost some armies, but we... Oh, crap. <laughs> yeah. I was one day off. Oh, and Moldavia has actually eliminated the other stack. This is very good. Smaller Ottoman army coming to Bozog. Uh, we'll catch them here. Sorry, we should leave one regiment. Hmm, it can be cannons, doesn't really matter. Guys, combine. And go kill the Ottoman stack. Right, so we are on carpet sieging almost all of the Ottoman lands, and we are blockading them, so they can't get reinforcements from the sea. Um, how much, oh, sorry, how much war score would it be to vassalize you? 167. So we will annex them in two wars. We will take half their territory now and then just demand annexation the next time we are at war. Naive relative. Mm, ah, spider fast doesn't matter really. It should be a wipe. Yes. Let's go here first. We will wipe them, then we'll leave a sieging army here and redistribute troops to finish uh, sieges earlier. After that we'll move to Tunis and give some of their land to Sicily. Just a bit. We just want to establish a foothold in North Africa. After all, it was all uh, Roman land once. Okay, You guys spread over the provinces that were, we want to siege. Who is the siege leader here? Hmm, we are. Right. Mm, Sicily is just sitting here. You know what, we no longer really need the fleet here. We could move it to Tunis, but its uh, blockading uh, power helps the sieges a bit, and uh, we are really in no rush. So, detach. Probably should distribute the armies a little bit more evenly, just one cannon everywhere and so on. But it really isn't uh, that crucial. Uh, you know what, let's do it that way. We have a few sieging armies and redistribute them. I can't click on the province. Oh, okay, it worked. And here. Yes. As soon as we're done sieging the Ottomans, we will... Mm, we will get into Tunis. Uh, which provinces should we take? We should definitely take all the coastal provinces we can. And we've gained the core, finished some sieges. Very good. Let's see the revolt risk. How are we doing? Catholic Zealot, 70%. That's much quicker than than we anticipated. We might actually want to cancel the missionary. We don't want them to rise up. Hmm. Yeah, let's do it. We will get religious ideas, which means that uh, it will be easier for us to convert, convert them quickly. Peace and nationalists. We'll need to, we really need to reduce our global revolt risk somehow, either by increasing stability or by getting a theologian. We're doing very well on money, so I think we should get a level 2 advisor in administrative at least. So we can get more... Oh! Oh damn it! should have looked at it before. I could have taken missionary strength and then, then it would uh, complete very quickly. Hmm. Yeah. He would cost us money though. Let's just take a level 2 advisor and count on the points. After that we can just increase stability and get rid of the revolt risk. Right, you guys just move to Greece. Get ready for fight, for fighting. You will soon be ready to invade North Africa. Oh, Gazikumuk wants to peace out, ah, because we have sieged them. Let's give them to Georgia, why not? 
We'll also get, uh, get some free prestige. Oh, yes, ally in the war. So we can we have to do it later. You guys also get to Greece. Doesn't matter which road you take. We'll only start attacking Tunis after all the Ottoman sieges are done. I don't want to um, spread our, uh, ourselves too thin because um, I don't want to lose any any troops. On second thoughts, though, they are actually attacking our vassal. Hmm. You know what? Let's just use automatic transport to get them to Calabria. And from then, we will get them to Sicily. This automatic transport... Okay, it, this, this feature is really bothering me. And the ships could have waited for all the guys to get on. Okay, we've finished the Siege of Trebizond. We have almost finished sieging the Ottomans. That was quick. If they went bankrupt, we might even be able to annex them. That will be a lot of our extension, but so satisfying. Because the Kumuk still wants the peace deal. Should we convert someone? Well, we should have continued converting roads and taken the missionary strength advisor, but it's too late for that now. You guys, combine, get on the ship. Um, you don't have a general, but it's just 2,000, so I, I won't bother. And we have a stronger fleet than Tunis. Tunis does have a big fleet, so it was actually a good decision to build all those galleys, I think. You guys, concentrate in Epirus. Mm, we have finished the siege. Good. We will first bring all our troops to Italy and then attack in uh, one big wave of uh, troops. To win diplomatic relations. Yeah, we are annexing Georgia. This won't be a problem um, soon. Let's hear our, how our diplomatic plans are going. Do you have an air yet? Mm. Yes, you do. Well, it was worth a try, and you still like us, which is good. Let's improve our relations because we have free diplomats. I hope France and Poland don't fight each other too much, because they're both my allies, and I don't want them to be weakened by the wars. You guys get here, pick up the troops. Tiberius. Nice, nice name. Just one province remaining. Get on the boats. We have 40,000 troops over here. Siege of Hamid, yeah. All of the Ottoman lands are occupied. Evangelical Union. After Emperor Ferdinand I rejected the Protestant confessional position, uh, positions at the Imperial Parliament, the Protestant Imperial Estates formed the League of Schmalkalden. With a joint army and treasury in seeking ties abroad, the German Catholic States, feeling threatened by this new alliance, have regrouped into a Catholic League. This stage is set the stage is set for religious conflict in the Empire. It doesn't really concern us. Um, on the contrary, we are stronger when they are weakened. Right, I was supposed to send you through the uh, strait. Brandenburg joined the religious league. Yeah. You guys protect the strait and you guys kill them. Wonderful. And Sicily will lose this battle. Oh, they won't be able to retreat because we're blockading the strait. What I'll do, I will actually get into port, and when they start retreating through the strait, I will move the ships back. Yeah, this is very sneaky, but then they will be caught, yeah, and wiped instantly. Very sneaky tactic, but useful. Right, let's get you guys to Palermo. Let's start moving you to Tunis. It's a pity we can't vassalize them. I wonder... Oh, you have grown, Tunis. Let's see. You've grown considerably. 
Hmm. Hmm. We could make you release Tripoli. And make Tripoli our vassal. We could then feed them all those lands. I mean, we would have to first take the land and then release Tripoli. Because we couldn't vassalize them as they are... Mm, as they are a different religion than ours. Would it be worth it, though? Well, they have those awful Berber ideas, but all, all this land mm, has them anyway, so... We would save some monarch points uh, if we fed this land to a vassal instead of just taking it for ourselves. So, uh, sorry, misclicked. Why did I want to declare war on Spain? Mm, what are the most uh, wealthy provinces that you have? Maybe we'll just take one and fabricate claims on everything. We could take over one of them as a vassal. Algiers. Oh, this is nicely positioned because... Algiers is nicely positioned because we could use um, this land as a... as a naval base for attacking Spain. Hmm. Well, never mind. Let's, let's siege Tunis first so that we can actually demand something from them. You guys get on the boats. Uh, do you want to lose uh, ducats or do you want to lose prestige? Ducats, definitely. We are at war and we will get some prestige back, but we want to keep it as high as possible. And you guys land in their capital. They only have a token force there. And they will run away, right? Remember that we have wiped their army in Messina. It was uh, not too wise of them to move them here. And once again, our superior navy. Many of you probably thought that building 30 galleys was not a smart idea on my part, but I think this was a good choice. We can just wipe the floor with them. I will not attack their navy, because I don't see the point at the moment. Let them just swim around or sail around. I might take care of it later. Okay, and our navy will actually stay here, so that we can blockade their port. Transport the troops, get off. Hmm. I wonder... Oh, Morocco has been fragmented so much. That's really bizarre to watch. Pity that we can't vassalize Tunis. Mm, we are at 7 out of 5 diplomatic relations, but we will soon annex some of our vassals, which will make room. We could actually give this land to Georgia, instead of taking it ourselves. That would give us uh, cheap cores. Are you ready to accept peace? Yes, you are. Alright, so let's get some free prestige from you as well. Yeah, war reparations, money, and our treaties. That's enough. Nice. So, Georgia will now be coring it. Yes, they have already started. So they will most probably finish it before we can uh, finish our annexation. Mm, the same thing might happen with those two provinces, the Trebizond and Kanik. So, mm, perhaps we should give them to Georgia as well. Hmm. Well, Georgia has uh, mm, those ideas, so yeah, it's not a good, not a good choice. Perhaps we shouldn't have given Gazikomuk to them as well. Oh no, they have it as well, all right. Uh, because if we give it to Georgia and they core it, uh, they will give it uh, their traditions that increase coring cost. So instead of paying 15 points per base tax for normal coring, we will pay 20 for diplomatic annexation, because unfortunately this also increases the cost of diplomatic annexation. Unless something has been changed or I have wrong information, but I am almost certain that it does. Let's help our ally here, maybe you can get there in time. You guys detach a siege and kill their army. And you help them. Yeah, 
we caught them. One wipe, there should be another. Was there? No, they, they are running away. Oh, well, I was supposed to combine you and detach sieges. We shouldn't really be marching those troops in such a big group, because those African provinces have high attrition. Uh, but we'll do it quickly. And the general has high maneuvers, so it will diminish uh, the attrition a bit. Just leave a small army everywhere. Let's continue chasing them. Oh, Spanish army. Interesting. We don't have any cannons left with us, but we have uh, four times as many troops and full morale. So they will die soon, and so they did. Nice. One, two, three, four. Good. You go there, you go. Sorry. You go to Anaba, you go to Titeri, and you go to Hodna. Have they cored those provinces already? Oh, not yet. Hmm, at least they have cored some of them. Not this one. One base tax. Still trying to decide which is the better choice of action here. Okay, you guys go and locate ports. Actually, this uh, has more ports. It will be a better place to leave our fleet. Um, what should we take from Tunis? Crimean nationalists in Azov. Let's see here. Oh, yeah, let's increase autonomy. I'm, I was almost certain that I already did increase autonomy in Azov. Hey, it doesn't matter. Um, in the meantime, as we have some time, let's exercise uh, our peace deal. What should we demand from the Ottomans? Let's um, demand a return of this core. Sorry, why to Kara? No, 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 no. We wanted it for ourselves. Mm, and Kara, because we have a claim. Everything that has claims or cores. It has our. It, this is our core. Why can't I? Hmm. It should have shown it as a claim, or a core. Hmm. Never mind. Okay, let's take all their sea provinces and either this one or that one. Yeah, Bozok or maybe Konya. No, we will be taking those provinces. Or is it too much? Oh yeah, it's over 100% overextension. Let's just leave them for next time. Next time we will just demand full annexation. This is what we're going to take from the Ottomans. As soon as we can, of course. Hmm, I wonder, will we be able to transfer occupation to Sicily? Because they are not in the same sea zone, they, they are in the adjacent sea zone. We could become the defender of the... Mm, Orthodox faith. Everything good except for technology cost. Hmm, you know what? Let's finish the war, buy three technologies, and then take, uh, take the defender of the faith. On the other hand, should we take uh, an idea instead of a technology? So we don't really need to worry about diplomatic technology, because we want to finish ideas first, right. Yeah. Mm, oh, we should have assigned the Admiral to our fleet. Uh, we'll do it later. Or we'll just fire him and get more generals. Mm, rebels 60%. Doing alright. Well, I could... Mm, change those armies into smaller ones and siege more provinces at once yeah, let's start doing that split you guys split you guys oh they're coming for us you can go to Jerva and so do you just make a wall of men and split you guys as well how many troops do we need for this castle? Right. Some more troops for the war. Oh, I forgot. We're actually at war with the small guy over here as well. 
Do you want to increase diplomatic technology cost or lose stability? Of course we want to increase diplomatic technology cost. Losing stability is not an option. Right, let's check. Oh, we are at war with those guys. Right. Let's do it like that. We will detach a siege here and get them. Siege of Kabilia. And we have some free diplomats. Mm, what should we do with them? We can't fabricate claims on the Ottomans because we are at war. We could sh start actually fabricating claim on the, claims on the Mamluks. Because we will be attacking them at some point. Mm, let's fabricate on Aleppo maybe. Oh, Cyprus, definitely. Let's first fabricate on Cyprus. Yes. They will be our next target in this area. Not immediately after we finish this war, because we will probably be dealing with some overextension. On second thoughts, why not? We can handle it. We we'll take land from the Ottomans, start coring it. And then... Then attack the Mamluks. Very aggressive campaign. Siege of Kef is over. Let's detach a siege, get you guys here. Oh, they have. Oh, yeah, because there's a connection here. They have come around from this side. Okay. Um, no, 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 no. This will be enough to siege the three provinces. Right. You guys stay here. You go here. You go here. And you. The rest, go there, you go to Mzab, and you guys go over there, it should be alright. We might get there in time, we might also not go in get there in time. Which siege is that? No. Yeah, go help them as well. Another one, wonderful. And we got there in time. Siege of Sus. Uh, Siege of Constantine is over. Hmm. Yeah, let's just keep moving. You leave half of your army here and move the rest here. Then you will combine your troops and attack. Mm, oh, you don't have enough men. Which siege is that? This one, right. So you join the main army and you help the siege. Oh, we actually have some troops over there. We can use automatic transportation to move them. And the automatic transportation will kill other ships in the meantime. Actually, we will be spending a lot of administrative power points on coring. So we might not have enough to buy the technology and then get the Defender of the Faith. Hmm. We might want to get it anyway. Right, we got a trader. That reminds me. Let's check our advisors. Maybe we got someone interesting. Not really. Not really. Yeah, not really. We're doing pretty well on money. We would get a level 2 here, but the diplomatic reputation guy is so much better. Yeah, let's, let's just continue. Okay, you have consolidated the armies. Attack. And we are actually engaging the Tunisian fleet. But we have superior numbers. Far superior. Might even get a ship. But detach. Continue. Okay, let's see the report. Mm, we didn't capture anything. And even lost two galleys. And that's a pity. Let's uh, see the diplomatic map again. Only those provinces left. Actually, getting Fazan would be a good idea. Because if we get uh, a colonial idea group, one of them, we could expand southwards 
through Africa, if we if we ever want to, if we want to take this campaign further. This is a very cheap province, just one base tax. I will, I think, I will take it. Maybe give, maybe create a new vassal in this territory. All right, let's split you guys. Some sieges have finished. Give some troops over there, some here, and some over here. What is also important, we can use the, these lands to attack the Mamluks from both sides and then maybe close the Medi Mediterranean uh, as our internal sea. Mare Nostrum. Right? Mm, oh, you guys are being... Uh, are going to waste. Right, I think I will end the episode here. We have done quite a lot and it it is long. Um, if you have any suggestions, uh, I am not sure when my next recording session will be. I usually do about two or three episodes at once. Uh, but if you have any suggestions uh, as uh, to what I should take from Tunis, um, because I, I have already decided what I'll take from the Ottomans, but uh, what I take from Tunis or whether I should um, create a vassal in North Africa, um, then let me know because we can't really transfer those provinces to our vassal of Sicily. Which is uh, unfortunate. So should we take the provinces ourselves or create a, a vassal over here? I will probably want to take Fazan and those provinces. Maybe something over here to stage a fight against uh, Spain in the future, but most likely over there to make our borders nice and consistent. Then we can move into the Mam Mamelukan territory from both sides. Because we intend to fight them. Right, so thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and let me know in the comments what you think about uh, piecing out units. And I will see you next time. Bye bye!